Hello, my friends, Liberty Garden. Coming to you from the ranch. Uh, it's July 30th, and yeah, the calves are here. <laughs> so they're now uh, two weeks into their weaning. One of them had, had crossed over to the mama, and I got him back to the to the calf herd last week, and he did not manage to go, go back to his mama. So we're all good. I think one more week, and they should be done weaning. Uh, I think they're they may have lost a little weight by not being on the mama's milk, but that's okay. They got about four more weeks to recover before I sell them, so that should be okay. The drought continues here in Texas. Uh, it's still a nasty deal. No rain. We had some rain forecast for today and yesterday, and it just vanished. It just evaporated, went away, nothing. So. There's still a massive sale going on here in Texas. I think uh, most people by now have called their herds of all the old stuff, all the cows that deliver late, all the cows that were not delivering, all the older cows. And uh, if this continues, I mean, we might start seeing some good, good production cows go to, go to market as well. It's not good. Uh, basically, there's gonna be a glut of meat on the market in the short run, but next year, when there are no production cows to calf, there might be a shortage of cows, of calves. Anyway, uh, I've been seeing some cows. I mean, I've been trying to get buy some cows myself because, uh, well, because <laughs> as good Warren Buffett says, whenever everybody's selling, you buy. And uh, it's not that, I, that I'm following Warren Buffett's advice or anything like that, but I do have extra, I do have some extra land here where I could take another four, four uh, cows easily. Once these guys go to market, I can, I can easily take another four cows. So I've been looking at, uh, at cows in the market. I ran into a herd of eight, which was perfect. And there was a misunderstanding with the seller. He posted six on, on Craigslist. I made an offer. I told him I'll buy them all. And then when I call him, he says, well, somebody offered me more money. I said, what do you mean they offer you more money? I mean, they were selling two-year-old heifers. He sold eight-year-old, eight two-year-old eight two heifers for $600 a piece. But he only posted six of them on Craigslist. That's when I saw the ad. So I, I offered him $650. And by the time I called him, he says, well, I already sold them because somebody offered me more money than you did. He said, well, how is that so? I mean, I offered you $650 and, and you sold them for $600. He says, oh, I had two more that I forgot to list. So I sent him a, a, I sent them a, 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 a round figure, you know, $3,900 for, for six heifers. And he got 4,800 for eight. But if you divide it by the price per head, he got $50 less on each head. So anyway, that was a misunderstanding. He already sold them to bed, but they were beautiful. They were beautiful. And these are, you were two year old heifers ready for a bull. And that's the kind of stuff that some people are selling, you know? There was another lady that, that was selling five uh, five uh, Angus heifers, two-year-old heifers, also $600. I mean, people are getting rid of some good stuff right now. So I'm kind of looking to to make a, a, maybe purchase four or five cows. And that way I get rid of these. these and then I have I add five, heads, five, five uh, mother cows to the herd. But anyway, it's not it's not it's not good for most people here. I think a lot of people uh, over overstock their land, and they rely too much on hay to to keep the the cows fed. And when hay becomes uh, uh, too expensive, or there's not enough of it, they start selling it because they don't have the the land to feed the cows. And I understand. I mean. A lot of a lot of people who ranch for a living, they do that just because it pays to do that, right? Uh, but then you get a squeeze like right now, and you have to sell some stuff. And it's, it's part of the business. I called uh, a friend of mine that well, not, not a friend of mine, but a seller. The one that is uh, that I bought the five uh, original cows from, the ones that are the, they're in the barn right now eating. <laughs> I call him. I tell him, hey, uh, do you have any 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 bred cows that you want to sell? He says, well, I just sold thirty-five last week. Uh, and I'm getting ready to sell another 30 next week. 
So I might get some of that. But yeah, everybody's just freaking getting rid of cattle like crazy. So stock up, your, so fill up your freezers <laughs> right now because there might be a shortage down the road. Because if, when you start slaughtering production cows, you you have nothing really left. And that's what is about to start happening, I think. I mean, I think so far we've seen these real nasty prices at, at the barn houses because you're people are taking a lot of a lot of uh, cold cows and stuff like that, right? So the price hasn't been great. Steers are still selling for about a buck seventy five hundred weight, so that's not bad. But uh, I think uh, if this if we don't get any rain, and even if we get some rain, I mean it's a little late. I mean it's not like it's not like grass magically grows from one day to the next after rain. Uh, so when we start getting some rain. Uh, if we don't get any rain, I think uh, people are gonna start selling the the mother cows. And uh, I mean, it's just gonna happen. When you cannot feed them and you cannot buy hay. I mean, the, the guy that I talked to, the, the guy who sold me the, the first five cows, he told me that uh, he can't get hay in his neck of the woods. And he's only 80 miles away from me. So, I mean, I don't know why he can't get hay. I mean, I, there's plenty of hay here in, in this area. I mean, there, there's probably more hay bales than there are cows in this in this county where I'm at. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people bale, bale hay in, in this area. Uh, right now, a, a, a hay bale is selling for about seventy dollars delivered, and I'm just talking native grasses here. Where I'm not talking anything special like alfalfa or anything real high in nutrition value. Just regular rolled hay from from just grass fields. It's about seventy dollars delivered, seventy five depending who you call. If you go a little bit west, I mean west of Dallas, they're paying one twenty, one twenty five, because I mean they they get a lot less rain over there. And to take that hay out there, you know, you got to realize that hay is a very it's a high volume commodity, right? So you can only put about 10, 15 hay bales in a in a haul, and that's it. Uh, before you you cube out on, on what you're pulling, so the price has got to reflect that. So some people out there west of Dallas, they're say they're selling, they're buying hay for one thirty, one thirty, one. 140 and uh i mean hay is not the it's not going to make your animals fat really it's, it's just going to keep them from starving so a lot of people are just looking at that they're looking at the price of that they're saying you know if i sell the cow right now i might just get 75 cents in the dollar and per hundred weight and they just go for that i mean some guys are getting 40 50 cents depending on the cow sold it's, it's going straight to alpo i think or to or to the what's it called wolf chili or whatever you know but uh yes yeah, the reality of, of texas right now and texas is the i believe texas is the number one producer of cattle in the country and we are having a drought from top to bottom everybody's having a drought right now from the panhandle all the way to the valley it's just a drought the whole state so anyway folks i'm not going to bore you anymore with with my suck here uh I'm doing okay with my cows because because I don't have that many cows to begin with. But man, I I'm praying for rain every day and and I'm just kind of sending good wishes and prayers to to my fellow farmers around this area because it's not good for a region to take a hit like this. You know, you start you start taking economic hits like this and things change in in, in a good place. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Until next time.